Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd Ayyul Ahabba At times it can be frustrating for us You may be in a locality Or what have you And you feel That The environment around you is suffocating from bid'ah, is suffocating and being restrained by that which differs from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So ayyullah habba, we should never despair at this. And we need to encourage one another to strive our best to make tawbah to Allah and come closer to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to have unity based on kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ayyul Ahabba, the glad tidings from the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is thus as it came in a hadith. Qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam fi hadith al-sahih Qala alayhi salatu wa sallam لا تزال طائفة من أمتي على الحق الظاهرين لا يضرهم من خالفهم ولا من خذلهم حتى يأتي أمر الله. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said, there will not cease to be a group from my ummah that is on the truth. And, it, and they're apparent. No one will harm them, even if they, who, who differs with them, or if they uh, do not accept from them and they try to uh, cheat them, until the command of Allah, meaning until Yom Qiyamah. Ayyul Ahabba, this shows us that Ahlul Sunnah will always be present that always you will have those people who are on the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah. They'll be there. The scholars are, are, are here, at least in this time. But in the future, things may change. But we have to know this promise of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is true, and we believe in it, and we do not lose hope and despair. And know that even if your life is taken, adhering to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you've, you've achieved success. And the Sunnah will not be harmed. Nor will Ahl Sunnah be harmed. Because they'll still be present. Some from amongst them will still be present. Even if they face trials and tribulations. That they'll face trials and tribulations. But true harm, as the Messenger of Allah said, will not befall them. La yudurruhum men khalifahum. No one will harm them who differs from them. So ayyullah habba, with all the trials and tribulations we face, never give up hope, adhere to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to take this into our hearts and practice His religion and forgive us of our many shortcomings and sins. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.